This example, we have negative 7x minus 5 times negative 2x plus 6 equals 2 plus 1. So remember, the first thing we want to do when we are solving equations is to draw a line down the middle of our equal sign. And then our very first step, so remember, we want to use don't call me after midnight. And for don't, that means we need to distribute if there are parentheses. And in this example, we do have parentheses, so we want to distribute what is in front of our parentheses. So that would be a negative 5 that we are distributing. Remember, when we distribute, we are multiplying that by what is inside of our parentheses. So we are keeping the negative 7x that is in front, and then we want to multiply negative 5 times negative 2x, which would be a positive 10x. And then we want to multiply negative 5 by positive 6, which would give us negative 30. And then the right side of our equation stays the same. And our second step is to combine like terms. So remember, if they are constants, so just numbers, or if you have the same variable with the same exponent. That's what makes like terms. So when we look here, on the left side of our equation, we have one pair of like terms, the negative 7x and the positive 10x. So when we combine those, we want to add the coefficients. So negative 7 plus 10 gives us a positive 3x. And then negative 30 does not have a like term on that side, so we bring it down. And then on the right side of our equation, we do have another pair of like terms, 2 and 1. So we would add those to get 3. And remember, after step 2 is when you can cross the line. So when we are distributing and combining like terms, we are just looking at one side of our equation. So step three, which is move the variable to one side using inverse operations. So in this case, our variable is already only on one side, so we don't have to move it. Step four is to add or subtract. So we want to undo any addition or subtraction that is going on. In this case, we have a minus 30, so to undo that, we are going to add 30 to both sides of our equation so that on the left side it cancels out, leaving us with 3x. And on the right side of our equation, 3 plus 30 gives us 33. And then our final step is to multiply or divide. So we want to undo any multiplication or division. In this case, we have 3 times x, so we want to divide by 3 to get x by itself, and we have to do that on both sides so that it cancels out on the left and leaves us with x. And then on the right side, 33 divided by 3 gives us 11, so our final answer would be x equals 11.